Yeah, I'm in the ocean, it's Taylor Vintage, a superhero, the answer's been spoken, I told him be yourself so fast, you gotta scream to the masses, and niggas still call me faggot, but bitch, my shit looking fabulous, you can tell by the bag, I get mama's names on these actresses, you portray with the savages, I invade and enslaved till my debt is repaid and invested, I ain't having a Catholic, I'm an outstanding Catholic, American I'm good, I'm tired, good show. Yeah, yeah. Good. Do you believe in ghosts? Um, no, yeah, yeah. Like, do I believe in, I believe in the Holy Ghost. Like, are they haunting us? That's a different story, yeah. Yeah, I'm not even getting into that. I'm just getting the whole, <laughs> right, Tony? Did your mom ever give you that line, like, we have food at home? And, like, Definitely, all the time. <laughs> what restaurant were you trying to get to? Like, um, like, we have food at home? Just every restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> like, McDonald's, yeah. Burger King. Yeah. Probably, like, Harold's, Chinese food. Harold's, I've never had. Peppies, which is uh, Mexican food. My mom used to always say that, though. And we did always have food at home, which yeah. was, you know, my mom's grandma, she provided very well for us. So, yeah. you know, we always had food, something at the house to eat. You talk a lot about your music and uh, online about uh, self-love and uh, your, like, Be Yourself campaign, which you're wearing a shirt right now. Can you just tell me about the campaign? Um, well, I mean, I released a project in 2018 called Be Yourself, um, which was a project that kind of expounded just on expressing yourself. Yeah. Um, not, you know, specifically just to the LGBTQ community, but, you know, um, okay. definitely with a major representation um, from that perspective. And it was kind of a project that I put out, I think, at a point in time that I had realized how many different people felt like they needed to fit in and how many different people felt pressured and just thinking about you know I would, like how my high school days were and just like you know like where I am still now I'm 23 so you know then I was like 21 or 22 you know like just thinking about all those things and taking them into account and um, you know understanding that I have this platform to push people forward um, and to I think kind of help create this atmosphere in the world because I do have that reach. I mean, I'm not Jay-Z or Kanye, but you know, as long as I have, you know, even 10 or five people that, you know, are listening to me, you know, you speak those good things and, you know, people go out into the world and, you know, it's not even just about being like the person that's saying these things, but it's about letting people know they're not alone and they, they're not the only people that feel like this because I feel like, especially right now, not just in hip hop, but in music in general and definitely just all around the world, you know, you don't hear enough love or positivity, you know, everything clickbait, you know, or, you know, so yeah. On the album, you came out as bisexual, and why was that important to you? Because you know, you don't have to come out as Well, so to, I didn't come out as bisexual so on the album. Right? I came out as bisexual on Twitter um, oh. in 20, I think, on my birthday, or the day before my birthday, okay. January 18th, 2018. Um, and I mean, I felt like it was just important. Really, I was about to be 21. It was the day before my birthday. Yeah. And, you know, I just felt like, you know, I wanted to be able to say as a grown man that, you know, I'm who I am comfortably. Yeah. And I think that, you know, um, something that also helped spark the idea of Be Yourself because I think that something else that I also felt was that, you know, I have a lot of listeners that also probably wish they had the same closure that I wish I had, yeah. you know, when I was um, coming up, so. Oh, Chance was in the Steven Universe movie. Yeah. Uh, did you watch it? How did you feel? Are you a fan? So I am a fan. Um, I didn't get a chance to watch it. I saw the Brandy video that she did, though. Yeah. I thought that song was pretty dope, and yeah. I liked the video for that. Um, but no, I didn't get a chance to see it yet. I got to check it out when I get yeah. home. Yeah. yeah, you have to check it out. Yeah. Do you watch the show at all? Um, I've seen the show a couple different times before, yeah. yeah. I think both you and your brother rap. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I, when I think of like young rappers, especially I think of like the pencils and like the, yeah. like in the cafeteria. And just, like, so yeah, that was a whole thing. Um, I didn't start rapping like that, but I definitely did that a lot. Yeah. Um, I started rapping. There was a song by Twista and Faith Evans. It's called Hopeful. Okay. And um, it's like, cause I'm hopeful, yes I am, hopeful for today. Take this music and use it, let it take you away. And be hopeful, hopeful that you make a way. Like, yeah, he knows it. That's okay. So basically, um, Twista is just from, you know, the west side of Chicago. I remember being like nine or ten and watching that show on uh, MTV or BET and just thinking like wow like this guy is like from the same neighborhood as me and you know he's on this big screen and he's talking about something that's like you know 
actually a different perspective than a lot of the music that I'm used to hearing yeah. even at that age. And, you know, being nine years old on the south side of Chicago, like I said earlier, um, you know, it's just very, you know, often that you don't know if you're going to come home or not, even at that age and that perspective. Like now, you know, I have a lot of friends that are definitely dead and I have a lot of friends that are also incarcerated. So, you know, like growing up in Chicago, that's just like a reality for a lot of people. And I felt like that music was something that kind of pushed me to want to do something different and, you know, be something else and be myself at yeah. the same time. Um, and I think that like from that point in time, I was just like, yo, I want to do something that like I want to speak to people and be able to change their perspectives of, you know, how they see things and how they see their reality, you know, and let them know, you know, that they're just not alone throughout this, you know, existence. And I guess that was like the point of me, you know, making music and deciding to make music. Well, have you and Chance ever like played pranks on each other? Are you that kind of family or? Um, yeah, when I was a kid, I was just talking to my dad the other day. When I was younger, Chance used to scare me, like scare the shit out of me all the time when I would be like, going so like when I was younger clearly it'd be like time to go to bed and like we are like room we used to share rooms when we were like younger younger yeah. they were like across from like my parents room but my parents would be downstairs watching TV and it'd be like nine o'clock they'd be like yeah it's time for you guys to go to sleep yeah. so every single time before I would go upstairs chance would like run upstairs and keep all the lights off and he knew like when I was a kid I used to be super duper afraid of the dark and he like used to just like hide behind doors and shit and like just pop out and like scream at me and I used to get scared as fuck. Yeah. And then, you know, I think like he's, he's definitely done a couple different things. I think um, I got a, what the fuck was it? I got like a, a fake grill or some shit, like one of those toy grills when I was yeah. younger and I had it in my mouth and I like sent him a text message picture or some shit of me with it in my mouth and he like told my dad that I went and got a grill. Like, or some shit, and my dad was like calling my phone, and yeah. I was just like, nah, like, I didn't. So you're about to go on tour with Chance and Lil Yachty. What are you most excited about? Like, that's fucking, that's fucking um, I'm super that's duper excited. Cool. You know, I've never been on a major tour, um, and I've never done a show with my brother until, like, last or two weeks ago at the United Center. Wow. We sold it out, so I guess Yachty, well, yeah, Yachty wasn't at that show. But for the tour, I'm excited to go on tour with both of them, but really Chance, you know, um, I've learned so much from him just as an artist and everything he's done even to you know the idea of still being an independent artist and everything that you know I've saw him you know um, kind of just conquer and go through and to be able to go on his first arena tour with him is you know it's a dream it's dope um, and I think that you know the fans are excited I'm excited to meet new fans I'm excited to see my fans you know um, and I'm excited to, you know, I think most of all, be able to do it, you know, with my brother and do it with my family. I think that's like the most important. Yeah. So I'm super excited, man. It's going to be awesome, yeah. yeah. Do you have any music projects, music videos coming up? That we um, well, yeah, I just <laughs> dropped like uh, a couple weeks ago. Yeah. I just dropped uh, the American Reject official video. So yeah. make sure you guys go check that and then get the project, the American Reject. It's out now, streaming on all platforms. Yeah. Um, and besides that, man, catch me at, you know, the big tour, tour. with Chance the Rapper and Lil Yachty. It's gonna be fucking crazy. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I love you guys at Pride. Thank you for everything you guys do. Um, you know, I appreciate all the support you guys have given me. Thank you for, you know, just doing this interview right here and considering me somebody that you guys would want to talk to. I love you guys and everything you guys do. Thanks, man.